This lightning storm in Malaysia. Yeesh. Oh, my God. That is phenomenal. That is so cool. I want to... Oh, okay. So if this is the side of the lightning, I want to know what the how loud the thunder was with this. I want to know how, what this sounded like. It would be terrifying. But that is such a good photo. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen and today we're taking a delve into r slash megalophobia. A place to marvel and fear at things that are just very, very big. If you have a fear of very big things, this one's going to be a ride for you. But let's just jump in, shall we? The amount of dread I feel when looking at this is surreal. Okay, so I'm going to preface, there's probably going to be a lot of um, art pieces and maybe AI generated images in here. We're not going to focus on that element. We're going to focus on just the concept and the scale of things. And this is fascinating. I don't know what this could be. It looks like it's a space thing. And I don't know, it looks like it could be thrusters. Either way, it does look very cool. <laughs> 67 pound goldfish, the carrot. How? How did this thing live out there for so- You know what? That nature finds a way. Thank you, Ian Malcolm. Life will find a way. That is a big, chunky goldfish. Whoo! The floating terror yacht named Pangeo, measuring 550 meters or 1,800 feet in length and 610 meters, 2,000 feet at its widest point. The wings will maybe become the world's largest structure ever built. This is a concept, it seems. I'm looking in the comments and it's either just one of these imaginary pieces of just like concept art, or this might be something that could be built. There is no definitive answer to this, but how how would that deal with like really rough seas? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this is plausible, but it's very cool. And it would also be extremely cool if you went down below and hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you know when we upload another video. Do all the things the algorithm loves. Just do all of them. It takes you just a couple of seconds and it means a whole lot to us because it helps the channel keep running and it allows us to keep making more videos for you to enjoy. You done it all? Fantastic, let's keep going. Mercury train in Chicago, 1936. Is this real? It feels like it's one of those early 1900s futuristic film set kind of things. Is this a real thing? The comments aren't giving me any answers. They, they're just saying like snow piercer and wow, can't wait to go to Rapture. And you know what? I'm fine with this. Trains are pretty damn cool. And this looks really cool. I'm here for this. Rip. I tried to take a photo of a grasshopper on my windshield. But now it looks like it's gigantic and destroying the town. <laughs> okay, going back to the early 1900s, this just feels like the inspiration and where like some filmmakers got the idea for making these monster movies where just big things destroy things. It's great. I find the amount of park benches very unsettling. No, I'm with you on that one. Why are there so many park benches just around this? And that's... <laughs> <laughs> the statue, or whatever that could be called, is just, I don't know, it just feels weird. It just feels very weird. Come to our lovely park, where you can sit down and look at this big weird fish thing. Oh, that sounds like a good day. A giant statue of Chinese warrior here, Guan Yu. That is phenomenal. Oh, that's so cool. Being able to make something of that scale with that kind of detail is just, oh, it's just so interesting and phenomenal. I would actually generally love to go and see this in person someday. On top of the stairs in Pico Tijuca, Brazil. I most likely butchered that name. Uh, also, please be holding on to the safety cable. What are you, uh, this just gives me fear. <laughs> also, I find it kind of fascinating that someone had to carve out those steps and that kind of being a safe job. Oh. Concrete chair. That, how is that a chair? What? That, <laughs> if those windows weren't in there, I would have thought this would be a really cool place to do some little skateboard tricks. But no, 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 no. What is this? What, generally, what is this? This is like a blast shield or something? Where like you stand it for safety and watching over some, I don't know. This guy on the edge of the Italian Dolomites. Uh, yeah, one, that is a very big place. It's very, very much fits in the subreddit, but two, oh my God, that's such an amazing photo. 
That is such a good photo. Oh, I'm I I'm genuinely in love with that. That's so good. Iceberg from Iceberg Alley, NS. <laughs> Just waking up to see an iceberg peek its head around the rock face in the in the ocean. Hey buddy, you got any sugar I can have? That's crazy just to be able to just walk outside and see these big monolithic ice blocks just float on by. The spillway of the Robert Barassa Power Station in Northern Quebec. It's nicknamed Giant Staircase and I found it on Google Earth. That is fascinating. Absolutely, but I'm just thinking about what if there's just like a massive water surge? I want to see what it looks like if they were to open up the dam a bit. I want to see water flowing down it. Statue. That. <laughs> ooh. ooh. <laughs> oh, I don't. Okay. I'm, I'm not too keen on the semi realistic looking statue of a big man in Mall. That's incredibly well done, but unsettling. Arbol del Tool tree. The tree with the largest trunk. Wouldn't hurt to call it the biggest tree, though. Yeah, that is a. Pretty damn big tree. Although, aren't redwoods much bigger? Like, redwood trees are, like, taller, but not as wide. And, like, do we have a... That just straight up looks like it's a bunch of different trees that have merged into one. That is a tree hive mind. That... <laughs> There's no way that was just one seed, right? Like, that's, that's going to be, like, hundreds, if not thousands of years in the growing. But that has to be more than one tree. This Coke ad. Coke bubbles. Taste the feel... That, okay. Oh, uh, that, okay, I do like that. That's some pretty good, that's some pretty good marketing. Very well done. Well done, marketing team. You did good. Post 18, big bus. This has the same feeling as that community episode. <laughs> Where they go into the space simulator bus. And <laughs> I, this can't be going. This has to be like a onboard tour kind of thing where it doesn't, actually move because that's too big to go anywhere right they, that car that's in the middle of the city that's gonna be the worst thing to drive <laughs> only brand new gods can save me you, you remember that trend of just like all these catastrophically huge eldritch beings in tiktoks and images being like what would you do in this scenario this just has the same vibe but it's just different captioning and straight up nothing if something like that is coming towards you, there's genuinely nothing you can do. Is the moon falling down right on your head? What do you do in this situation? Freaking nothing. Because there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Standing at the base of the Washington Monument. Man. Spider-Man boy really did climb that. <laughs> Water slide. Okay, so this is clearly not real, and it feels very much like a liminal space. This is a really cool image, but if this was real, I would... I think I would go on it. I think I, I, I think it's like, if you go in, it's like a water slide equivalent of the back rooms, and time dilation will happen in there. You go in, a child come out, and oh, just a pile of dust, but it'll be a fun ride. Big boat. That is crazy. The scale of some just vehicles and just boats and all that kind of stuff. Some of the stuff humankind has made is just crazy. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Just look at the scale of this boat. That's just wild. Think about the size of the tree. Amazonian tree with human-sized leaves is finally classified as a new species. Species? That is a big leaf. Big leaf. Uh, can you show us the tree? Cause yeah, I I'm I'm that's oh that's a big leaf. <laughs> this slug found in Vancouver, BC. That is that feels mm, that's a xenomorph, baby. That's <laughs> get your hand away from that. I I do not trust that one bit. That is terrifying. I'm I'm not very. I don't have megalophobia. I just don't like the concept of big slug. I just do not like that. Oh, this toll gate. That just, that is, this feels weird to look at from above because the way it expands and I don't know, that looks like they're going up and down a hill, but it's just expanding to so sort of like more toll gates. But that's just, that's a nightmare. That is just horrifying. No, thank you. 
And that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or oh, hey, maybe even sharing with a friend. Actually, no, yeah, no, no, just do that. Just share with a friend. If you want to see some more r slash megalophobia, then stick around a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host, Zen, and I hope to see you in the very next Calbus video. Have a great rest of your day.